Yeah, that was not in the live. We're playing against the London. Very exciting. Okay, let's just get a call spread structure. And we'll take it from here. time really long but I'm a Chester ambassador now so that means that I will stream you know a little more frequently at the very least my twitch account has been stuck in mud for a long time but it's uh, it's unstuck so that's good and here I'm playing title Tuesday um, I won the first round in a pretty terrible game. I was worse, probably lost at some point, but you know, I won. So that's good. The mic is bad. I don't even know which mic I'm using. Is it this one? I don't know. Hard to say. The other one? Is this better? I mean, it's always scuffed. Like this was, uh, this was done in twenty uh, minutes or so, and uh, I I know from, uh, yeah, okay, so that's it's this one. Uh, I know from experience that I've never managed to get these things to work, so I generally need at least like. An hour or so to uh, uh, to get these things going so maybe for the next stream it will be, be better but who knows um, well regardless here we have a pretty standard position I'm a little bit worse because this because of this pawn on, on g6 how do you do this how do you mark it like this it means that the knight in e5 is uh, unassailable basically no donate button, no no sub button. Those things aren't changing, you know. This is still a uh, this is still an anarchy stream. Okay, queen b three attacking uh, b five, but I think he's allowing me to take, and now queen c four, and either he has to go back or and allow b four, or I get to exchange queens, and then I'm a little bit better. Uh, yeah, queen c2. He has b3 followed by c4, maybe. Also knight e5. This is okay. If bishop f4, then bishop d6. And I'm okay. Um, yeah, the hoodie is the uh, corresponding hoodie to the sweatpants I was wearing during the first round of the blitz. So, unfortunately, I didn't bring the uh, hoodie to Kazakhstan, otherwise I would have obviously worn it. How's it like flying with the car? It was okay. Took a selfie, then I went to sleep. If you think we need mods, you've clearly never been in this stream before. Oh, threatening mate, cheeky bastard. Now we get f5 as well. Obviously, there is limited potential with pawns only on one side, but I'm starting to get a bit of an edge here. Uh, knight d1 is, is okay, it's a bit solid. I think I want to move the bishop so that I can reply f4 to g3. And... Uh, here I think I'll go f4 as well, just gain some more space. I'm not the least bit worried about queen e5 exchanging queens, because uh, I think that's just going to make uh, make his pawns weaker. K 
Can I increase volume? Yeah, I guess. Do I know how to do it? No, not really. And my queen is a bit active. If rook b4, there was queen e2. Now I can go rook a1, rook b1, I change, I think, and then queen e2. And he really hasn't got a lot of moves. Knight b4, there's queen d2, attacking this one. So, queen d2, knight a4, there's bishop h4. And here you see the value of the pawn on f4. That it holds these pawns down and now queen c2 is finally something tangible. I do win a pawn. And uh, possibly some more as well. Queen b2, again attacking several pieces at the same time. Um, should I give a check first? Yeah, let's do that. Just try and be hyper accurate. Knight d3, e5, threatening e4. Um, wait a sec, e4 takes queen a1, so I go queen a1 first, and then king h2, e4, queen f4, e d3, queen h4, d2 resigns. 